Guys, when I talk about uh, my ability to survive abuse and to protect people from violence, I'm not bragging. Uh, I just, I earn this uh, abilities, uh, my intellectual, my physiological, my psychological abilities to protect innocent people from guilty people over thousands of years through a, a eternal spirit that's faithful. Uh, you get people like, you know, oh, well, you could, I could possibly, yeah, not possibly, I'm pretty sure, because of what they studied with me at Fort Huachuca. Any problem, yeah, any, you know, gene you know, any genetically enhanced asshole, because people's prayers say, you know, give Earl the ability to protect. You know, I'd probably be exhausted, you know, if I had to uh, kill somebody as big as John Cena with my bare hands. Um, afterwards, I don't know, I'd probably, I don't know. Because when that kid punched me in the face in that parking lot, I, I didn't feel it. And I was just, it was a divot and I was irritated. Well, but I'm not just going to stand there and let somebody punch me in the face again. I mean, like, no, I don't want to have to kill you. Go away. But I use commands to AI to do it. It's, it's more intelligent and efficient to do it that way. Okay. And the way it is with you guys, well, you, wow, you must feel powerful being able to kill anybody you want. You're in a room full of babies and toddlers. You can kill everybody in the room. Does that make you feel powerful? Okay. Then why are you such a fucking idiot? Okay. I explained that to my dad and he looked at me creepy like Earl. It's like, no, that's how you got to explain to these people that feel that Steven Seagal and the all elite wrestlers in the NFL and special forces are powerful. This plane doesn't care whether or not I'm man or woman, just cares that I'm a good fighter pilot. You're in a room full of toddlers and babies being trained to be murdering consumers so they can grow up to be just like you and Tom Cruise. How does that make you feel? There's a reason why I'm the sort, why I'm the gracious good shepherd. And the assholes that fly fighter planes at Holloman Air Force Base are not. Okay? And the assholes... At Border Patrol, you know, I had that one kid yesterday that died because of the methamphetamine he was using in El Paso, and he's crossing the road, and they're like, hey, you can't do that. Then they run him down, and they have six guys beat the shit out of him. To just... When I worked with kids in lockup and stuff like that, we, re we restrained them to keep them from hurting it, other people and themselves. All right. You tell me that six guys can't restrain a guy and then – cuff him and then restrain him so he doesn't hurt himself or any of you? You have, to, you have to hit him and punch him? You don't hit him and punch him. You restrain him. Make sure he doesn't bite anybody because that can cause an infectious disease in one of you and we don't want you getting hurt. Okay? You don't need a paycheck to be a hero with a gun and Kevlar and a badge. All you need is a kind heart like Ralph Earl Parsons Jr. to step up and be a man. Okay. Now, I will never, ever Okay. Keep company, sup, or go to bed with, or wake up with people that refuse the beauty of the Lord's Prayer, that refuse to share the love of the eternal spirit of the Lord with children. Never say never. I will say never. Okay. I will never go make a movie about propaganda. Okay. You don't have to worry about AI that kills people that won't give the world the Lord's Prayer, being violent and aggressive and strap in and go get in metal thing, because I don't command technology to do that. I make sure that it's quick, efficient, smooth, and a baby can keep sleeping in the next room when AI puts a murdering, aggressive, excessive, compulsive pile of shit to rest. Okay. I've worked 15 years okay, through excessive, I had crap in my dreams last night, horrible crap in my dreams last night from these child molesting perverts at White Sands, Los Alamos, Fort Bliss, Fort Huachuca and all that. I'm sick of these fucking assholes and I will never keep company with any of them because they are not true fellowship. Okay. And you can take that to your fake ass bank. Okay. The best thing to want to do is live the beauty of the perfect commands of Lord Jesus Christ and Lord Muhammad and Lord Abraham that have no conflict with Confucius at all. Confucius is not a faith forsaken fortune cookie fucking salesman who manipulates people with uh, 
home invasion through their cell phone to get them to stay at your school to make more money for athletics to sell everybody Under Armour, Adidas, Nike, Gatorade, and Powerade. Okay? Athletic director, you better direct yourself to peace. I've got a real objective here. I'm effective here because I select a clear. You have to forgive me. I've got crud in my nose from the crap in the air. I live in a genocidal hotbed for the U.S. military. Anytime I ask for the economic means to go to a place that where the ex-military people hang out, like in Silver City and in the Gila, they said I had to join the Temple of Set Luminati in order to hang out with them. And I told them, no, I'll just as soon use the technology to kill you than join your group that killed my mother and killed Michelle and sexually compromised and abused my wives and children. You know, well, I have morals, values, and principles. Okay? I don't give a fuck what your plane thinks of you as a good fighter pilot. You want to be a real woman, worthy of adoration from a real man? Park your cars, bars, and wars, and leave your Modelo fighting spirit at the fucking bar! Okay? You think I was going to be just as easy? I was going to easier on her because she's a young female and she's not Eisenhower or Custer. It's a little fucking... Talking twat face. Pussy faces do whatever a bitch tells them to do to get a big bag of money to fuck. And if you don't believe that, we've got oceanfront property in Wyoming, right? Right next to the uh, Old Faithful. Right? You guys are such fucking assholes, okay? And watching Taylor Swift and all those assholes and the things in Paris and all that, putting on an egotistical show why children are murdered in Gaza and, 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 and raped from Venezuela to El Paso, and they don't give a fuck because as long as they're getting money and everybody wants to hear songs about their dysfunctional aspects, life, what Travis Kelsey going to do? What is that little walking, talking pussy going to do? What's Shaquille O'Neal going to do? Okay, Is he going to come to Las Cruces? Hey, don't talk shit about me. Oh, did you bring the camera so everybody can know what a little coward you are? Let's, let's go break five federal laws in, uh, in two minutes, Shaq. Or you don't care what happens to a woman who's been turned into sexual copper government bands by corporations that keep you wealthy and have pet tigers in your fucking ridiculous house. Oh, but you want your daughter to be just as great of a basketball player as you? Why don't you want your daughter to be as humble and perfect and beautiful as the man that you're scared shitless that everybody will know who he is waking wake up tomorrow and you won't be the focus of attention talking shit about basketball, how great people got to show up and dominate in the playoffs. Take your playoffs. There's nothing better than the NBA playoffs. Living the Lord's Prayer. Then the NBA playoffs are good, but not as good as the Lord's Prayer. You guys need to get your Iron Eagle straight or you ain't going to see shit. Hey, Ian, okay? Ian, I don't have a knife or a gun in my room. I have the Lord's Prayer and I'll kick the shit out of you with you, okay? I am the hawk and there's love on my feathers. <laughs>